first of all some phases of the career is that I think academia provides uh, great skills for learning. It's the fundamental knowledge that's important that you can learn while you're here on campus. And it's also a network of alumni, of other people that have been at U of I before and can relate to your experience. Um, meanwhile, a company provides things like a reliable pay paycheck, uh, gives a problem-solving experience, uh, it gives some time to spend outside of work, is that if you are, uh, you'll find that if you start your own company or if you're working on a PhD that you may not have a lot of free time. And also has a lot of upside with stock options and bonuses. Um, so there's good things about working at a company after academia. And this goes in contrary. There are some people that would say, drop out of school and go start a company. And I will take exception to that. I would say stay in school. It's the, um, you'll have time. It's that there's opportunities that come up continuously. It's that getting certainly an undergraduate, but then going on and you know, maybe doing a master's or a PhD can serve you well. Is that I, I found so. Is that having that background gives you an edge because you, you've learned concepts that um, are not things that your other companies that you're competing with may have such a grasp on. So it's, it's good. Uh, work to gain some experience is that, you know, I found that having worked at IBM and Bell Labs and NCSA uh, on real projects all helped with having a very practical sense of doing startup companies. Is that, uh, you know, maybe you don't want to be working at a company for the rest of your life. Maybe you do want to start your own, but um, sometimes it's easier to, to, to work at a company, understand culture for a while before you go off and, and do it on your own. Um, 